Hey guys, today we will be playing The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. I have played this multiple times before. I tried doing a video on it last night and I failed epically because it didn't even record. I didn't realize that at first. I did a whole 30 minute video on it and I failed. So hopefully this works and it looks like it's recording. So with all that said, let's get into it. Um, this game is a bit full on for those who haven't played it before you like you might be a little bit weirded out by some of the stuff you see I basically I am a boy it's running through a basement trying to get away from his mother and I shoot tears to kill my enemies I feel really slow for some reason it, it, it just doesn't feel right I, I, I think there might be a little bit of lag shouldn't be though should be all good. But yeah, um, it's a little bit of a weird game, but I think you guys will like it. If not, don't be afraid to tell me. Although that probably won't stop me from doing videos on it. This is one of my favorite games of all time. Eh, uh, you guys can just screw off. Come here, you little fuck. Die. Alright, you lost your head. Let's kill this body here. Spurting out with blood. Alright, so when you kill one of those guys, they'll spurt out with blood. But I eat these ones here that don't spurt out with blood. They can't damage you unless they hit you. And the key of this game is to actually get down to the um the last floor and then kill your mother. Which is because she's a boss in this game. But once you do that too many times, you have to um, go down to into her uterus and somehow end up killing her heart. Which is actually very interesting. I don't understand how you make it to her heart through her uterus. That is some sort of fucked up shit there, but you know, I'm not going to question it. It's a fun game. If any of you haven't played this game, I suggest you do. I'm actually playing on a harder difficulty setting at the moment because I have played this game right through before I've completely 100% clocked it but I haven't played it in so long so don't judge me if I fail. All right, technology. Now shoot laser tears. This here is a devil room. You can trade um, your hearts to make deals with the devil for items. Laser tears are so good. What I rather though is I rather have the laser tears and spectral tears because then they can fly through rocks. But these ones will have to do for the time being. Oh crap. So something that's new to me is these white enemies. I haven't actually seen them before. It could be because I've never played Wrath of the Lamb, but I'm not overly sure. But what interests me about them is now there is white bosses, like big like white bosses. Okay, so Monster now splits into two. That's interesting. Hey, he splits into four all up. Okay. Well, good thing about lasers is they do piercing damage, so I can do dam massive amounts of damage to him if I hit all of them at once. Because I'm, they've all got the same life bar. So if I'm hitting all of them at once, I'm going to do more damage than just hitting one of them at a time. Because I'm damaging all of them, taking health off all of their life bars. Alright, so there is two monsters defeated, three monsters defeated. Alright, let's just take out this brick. Got him. Alright. So that item there is the boss fight item. You get that at the end of each boss fight. That's HP up. And this here is a sacred heart. Sacred hearts, if you get hit, they'll go away. All it takes is one hit. But if you make it to the next floor and you go down like this, sacred heart will turn into a health upgrade. And you'll get one full red heart. I was only introduced to this game a couple of years ago actually. I um the person who introduced me to it was actually my mate Jesse. Very smart bloke. He's a pretty awesome kid. Well he's not really a kid, he's he's older than me. So Yeah, he he's pretty awesome. You'll see him in like some of my future videos. And I will be doing a GTA series with him at one point. And we've already talked about that. And I reckon you guys would like him. And when he does come into the um, videos, if you guys like 
don't like him or you do like him, please do tell us. Won't, it won't change if he's in the videos or not. It'll just change what we do in the videos. Because I've already promised him a part on some of the videos. <clears throat> because I don't think he's ever really done anything much with YouTube. And I think it could really help him out. Um, oh yeah, I, I thought I might explain, um, I haven't been doing much videos lately, I, I, last one I uploaded before this was my Gario one, and then before that was my, a Final Fantasy one, which was a week ago, I, uh, it was more than a week ago, it was about nearly two weeks now, and the thing about that is, I can't exactly, I, explain myself, I was just really busy, I, don't really have too good of an excuse, but we were helping friends pack and we had a lot on our plate, so there's not much we could really do. And when I say re we, I'm referring to Sean and Danny as well, the other two from the group channel. And yes, there's not really anything we could do there. But as of yesterday, videos will be coming out once a day again. I'm getting back on schedule, I'm focusing mainly on my YouTube videos, and that'll be really good. Oh, see, the item free dollar builder came in handy, because it gives me really fast fire rate, which is why I've got the yellow laser tears. Because if you don't have the laser tears and you get that, and it shoots out yellow lasers, it's normally, um, actually, it's him peeing. But it's really fluent tears, but, um, uh, frequent, sorry, not fluent. <laughs> but, um... I don't know why this poop isn't destroying. Why are things not destroying when I'm zapping them? They destroy when my little guy comes over, like comes over to kill him. But that's it. Right. Secret room through here. Oh, nice. Bunch of coins. Right. So if I go up, um, I think it's 55 pennies. I can unlock Kane, who has the um, item Lucky Foot. And what that does is basically. When I pick up a pill or something, if it's got a bad effect, it automatically makes it good. So health down would turn into health up automatically. He can't get bad pills. What the fuck is that thing? That is a Gertie Jr., I think. But it's really slow. And it's big and white. Although, I think I've got massive damage tears right now. I think that's why my lasers are so big. So... Whatever ability that is, the massive laser tears, oh, thank god for you. Oh, nice, I got a sacred heart. Alright, lots of pills, hopefully none of them is a bad trip. Alright, range up, don't really need that. Puberty. Uh, the I found pills. And bad gas. Okay, so that was a big waste of time. Alright, another health upgrade. That's all good. Is why I love random tears, because sometimes it can help, although sometimes it can just fuck you around too. It does get very, very fuck around type. Okay, so at the moment I think I've got paralysis tears. Occasionally I'll paralyze the enemy. And they'll like turn to like stone for a second. So that's helpful. It changes every room. Like not every floor, but every room. Die. That's right, I got you. Alright. Blow that up. Hopefully you got a key in you. Because I need a key for this door. Nope. That sucks. I need to find a key for the treasure room. Treasure rooms have like, items in them. They only have a, the items that help you. Sometimes it gives you shit as items. But it's still supposed to help you. There's actually um some achievements for finishing... like. Right, flip, right through, I'm pretty sure, without like using a treasure room at all. I don't know how people do that. I've done it once, and it was fucking terrible. Although, I have done it on uh, Rebirth, and that was actually really easy, because I didn't use any treasure rooms, but I used a dice room, which was really good. Oh, why couldn't I get that later? Why couldn't I get the homing tears later? 
It would have really come in handy in a boss fight. Lasers and homing tears. Alright. I can't remember what the thing I just got does. I'm pretty sure it um it heals me a heart when I'm really low. Alright, you guys stop shooting for a second please. So the one time you do shoot, I just walk out in front of you. I had really bad timing. Right, you're easier to shoot because you're over there. Alright. Ah, uh, screw you. Key in the middle. I really do need more keys. Because of the predicament I'm in with no keys. Oh, I, I think this is where I die actually, guys. These things are fucking annoying. Oh, it gives me Shadow Heart. That's what that item does. I'm pretty sure if I leave the room again, it'll do it again. When I'm low on health. Yeah, that's right. You stand up, bitch. Got ya. Alright. Leave the room. Will it come back? Yeah, it did. Cool, cool. But the thing is, as well, is I need to gain half a heart or it won't work. Because it only activates when I'm on half a red heart. Of health left. So, in order to be put back down onto one half a red heart, I need to have more than one half a red heart to begin with. Also, I'm actually on a hard difficulty, I think. Hence the little, um... Ram's head symbol down there, the little upside down pentagon. I'm pretty sure that symbolizes hard mode. Because I am, um, I'm not sure if I turned it off or not. Because I know that when I was playing the other day, I was trying to record in hard mode, and I got a like, to the end of caves two, and then I died. But I'm not sure. But if I am, then I think I'm doing pretty fucking decent. Alright, here's boss room. Really? Now I've got a first full fledged Gertie? I don't have the big strong tears anymore. Oh, fucking bees. I actually fucking hate bees, they're so fucking annoying in real life as well. I hate them in game and IRL. Oh, okay, so it did work with only half a heart. I right, just because I had the shadow heart. But it won't work again after this. It's fucking annoying like that. And I actually wish I, 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 that I was doing more damage or even just had a higher fire rate. Just something that would give me an advantage against this guy. Because he is so fucking huge and he summoned so many fucking enemies in. That it's not exactly fair. I think the best thing to do is like aim right here. Shoot down. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. What I normally do is I get behind him and I shoot right down and take out the things in front. And then I just shoot the bees by moving back and forward. But uh, that didn't work. Okay. Well... That is where I'm going to end this, guys. I haven't done much on it today. I don't feel I'm going to give it another shot at the moment. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more, then subscribe. If you like this video, then like. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Japan. Keep away from me, Japan.